Try to stay with your breath all the way in, all the way out, and all the way between the in and out. Try to keep your awareness and your attention as continuous as you can. Our acts of attention are discrete moments, but we have to learn how to stitch them together. It's like sewing a piece of cloth. If the thread doesn't connect, if the thread's broken, then the cloth doesn't two pieces of cloth don't stay together. You want to keep your mind with the breath. So keep reminding yourself that the breath is where you want to be right now. The mind may have lots of other ideas, but it's time you got to know the present moment. To see your own mind clearly. And to see your own mind clearly, you have to have a very steady gaze. Because the mind has very clever. It has all these little mirrors and other things to flash your attention off in some other direction. Because sometimes unskillful things come up in the mind, and part of you knows that this is unskillful, but another part wants to go with it. And so you learn how to lie to yourself, learn how to hide things from yourself. And as a result, you don't see how you're causing stress and suffering that's really unnecessary. We're trying to open things up in the mind, and to do that, your awareness has to be continuous, not deflected by little things the way it ordinarily is. So try to stick with the breath and don't let anything pull you away. And you find that what you learn about the mind it can often be very unexpected. Things you halfway know suddenly become clear because you see the mind in action. And you see, oh, this is why I do that, this is why I think that way. You know, the Dharma is here to help give you alternatives, because sometimes you can't think of the alternatives on your own, but sometimes you can come up with them. In any lesson you can teach yourself that helps lessen the burden of stress that you uh, impose on yourself. That's all Dharma. But in order to apply it, you first have to see what's actually going on, and this is why your gaze has to be steady. So learn how to protect that steady gaze. Keep it going, regardless of what happens. The A helicopter over there can come flying right over us, and you want to keep your, your attention right here with the breath. It's only then that you'll be able to see things for yourself and see them clearly. <laughs>